Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For my video today, I have my very first unboxing of a Strathbury item. I have been a fan for quite a while of Strathbury, but I never actually picked anything up. It first came to my attention, of course, I feel like many people when I saw Meghan Markle carrying one at one of her events in London. And ever since then, I thought they were really cool and really beautiful bags. And I've always noticed them, but for a number of reasons, I never actually picked a bag up. But uh, recently I was shopping for a wallet and I looked at all of the big brands. I looked at Louis Vuitton, of course. I looked at Prada and Fendi and Burberry and Gucci. And in the end, I saw this wallet and I thought it was so beautiful that I thought I would give a Strathbury a try. So that's what I have to show you today is this Strathbury wallet. I did buy it from their website and uh, the shipping was very, very fast. So I live in the US, they shipped it from uh, the UK and it only took, I think it was three days before I got it. So I was really, really impressed with the speed of the shipping. It came in this very nice box and of course inside you have your really pretty packaging. So. The boxes for Strathberry are black and they have the gold Strathberry writing on them. Are they black? Yeah, I think it's black. I don't know. The lights are so bright it was looking navy blue there for a minute. So this is the presentation. Open up and of course you have your information card right here. Um, so care, this is your care guide for your uh, leather goods and they have it in a couple of uh, different languages so um, that's always nice I always do like to look at these just in case there's something extra special that needs to be done with respect to your leather items because as we know leather items sometimes can be very delicate okay and then inside the box is the wallet itself that comes in this pretty little dust bag which says Strathbury on it. I have it upside down. Okay. It's very substantial. It's a really nice canvas. Okay. And then the wallet itself looks like this. I'm so excited about this. I thought it was so, so pretty. This is called the Crescent Wallet. And they do have a couple different styles of wallets. Some are larger ones, you know, like the, the, uh, the long, um, large wallet and then they have these compact wallets so I was looking for a compact wallet and I uh, like I said I just I looked around and shopped around and looked around and eventually I spotted this one now they had two sort of compact wallet styles one had the straight bar which is what Strathbury is very much known for and then the other one had the the crescent and obviously I went with a crescent because I thought it was just so unique and pretty it does look a little bit like a smiley face on the other side but basically this is your closure for the wallet so all you have to do is pop it up it is on a very nice sturdy hinge and you put it down when you want to close your wallet so the gold hardware on this one is really very pretty it looks to me to be more like a champagne kind of gold rather than a very bright gold uh, I like champagne gold because I feel like it matches all kinds of jewelry really well so if you like your yellow gold pieces if you like your white or platinum gold pieces or even if you like rose gold pieces I always feel like champagne gold hardware really blends with all of them I'm trying to get the the wrapping off of my little crescent here. Let's see, it's very much stuck on there. I don't know if it's glued or shrink wrapped or whatever. Let's see if I can get it loose. I don't wanna scratch anything or damage anything. Well, maybe, oh, there we go, okay. So I'm gonna pull this off so we can get a better look at this pretty little crescent here. And looks just like that so when you're holding the the wallet upright it is going that way if you have it upside down like that this wallet called the crescent wallet again obviously I think because of the crescent shape of the bar but it does come in a load of different colors and that's what I really loved about the wallet choices and in fact I had a difficult time picking one because they were all so beautiful so they have your standard black they had 
a light pink, like a rosy pink. They had a navy blue mock croc. They had a very, very beautiful, like a bottle green or a dark green mock croc, which I thought was gorgeous. And that was probably my second choice. I think they had something like orangey or red, something like that. And then they also had a beautiful golden, like a chestnut color, almost like the gold from Hermes. So that, that really pretty brown color. And after a lot of deliberation, because I did like quite a few of the different colors, I kept going back to this one, and that was because the interior on this one is a contrasting color, which I really, really like. So this is sort of like a grayish lavender, very much a lavender undertones, but it'll go really nicely with gray things. And then on the interior, of course, you see that you have the white leather on the inside, which I thought was really beautiful. I love a contrasting lining on nearly anything, shoes, bags, clothes, as well as wallets. So I'm really excited about this. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the last little bit of film off there. So the configuration of the wallet is pretty straightforward and standard for a compact wallet. What you're looking for, of course, are some card slots, and this one has one, two, three card slots right here, as well as a bigger slot right there. And then there's also a, a bill section too. So these are a couple things that I really look for, like I have to have them when I have a, a wallet. I really need card slots, I really need a bill slot, and I also really like a change purse, and this one happens to have it on the inside right here with a little zipper. The zipper pull is nice and long, I really do like that about this. And um, it does have a pleat on the side so you can really get your fingers in there and open it up, so I think that's going to work very well for me. This is the only feature of the wallet that I was a little bit nervous about was that rather than having the zipper at the top of the coin purse that are at the top of the wallet, it's actually in the interior. So I wasn't sure how that is gonna work for me, so I will let you know as I use the wallet and see how that actually functions for me. Like, I don't really use a lot of coins in the course of a day. Usually, if I have a little bit too many, I just empty them out and put them in a jar and then, you know, roll them, wrap them up later on. Um, but I want to have an area just, you know, where I can have some coins. And so this was important to me, but I'm a little bit concerned only because I have a feeling that when it's time to either put the coins away or grab a coin, I might end up bending the wallet backwards ever so slightly. So I'm not sure about that. That is one of the areas that I'm a little bit on the fence about. But I do like the look of the interior. I think it looks very, very compact, very well organized, very pretty. I do have a random card here, so I'll pop that in the card slots to see how well that fits in there. Um, they're always very tight when you first get the wallet, so I know that a lot of times you really have to struggle a little bit. Okay, so that was no problem at all. It goes right inside, and then of course if you have something else, uh, like, I don't know, maybe coupons or something like that, you can pop them in the back there. So you really do have three main card slots and then this additional slot right there. So that's gonna work out very well, and of course, the bill slot is oversized too, so you're not going to have any problems putting your bills in there. So it's a very nice, slim silhouette, and I love this little clasp on here. I just think it gives it such a sophisticated look to it, makes it look a little bit extra special. And I'm really excited about this one. I've been using my Louis Vuitton Victorine for quite a while now, and I do love that wallet, but I thought it was time to switch out a little bit. I was just craving something new, and again, I saw this one and I really thought I would enjoy it. So as far as the leather goes, it is very much a grained leather. I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but it really has a beautiful, soft finish to it. It's very similar. Uh, to the leather on my, um, what is it, my Gucci Soho. I feel like it's a very pliable, soft leather, so it's gonna be really nice. Um, it doesn't feel heavy at all. In fact, I think that my Victorine in the canvas and leather is actually a little bit he 
heavier. You'd be surprised how heavy that wallet is. It's a small wallet. It's made out of canvas, but there's so much good substantial leather on it that it actually is quite heavy. But this one is nice and light. And again, uh, the color just really got me. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. So I'm really, really impressed with the look of this and I'm really excited to use this. I will definitely uh, be using it for the next several weeks or months and then I will come back and do a full review on it and let you know how I get along with it. But I'm really excited about this purchase and I feel like this is just the beginning of my um, foray into Strathbury because as I mentioned I really do like the look of their bags and I thought that this would be um, a great starting point. So let me know what you think about Strathbury in general or about this wallet in particular in the comments sections below. If you did like this video do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I will see you in my next video. Take care.